Hi, uh, this is Jeremy Kellett, Director of Recruiting here at Oakley Trucking, and I'm your host for this podcast. This is the Oakley Podcast, Trucking Business and Family. And as always, we put out a new episode every Wednesday. We appreciate all our listeners out there listening to uh, to them every week and responding, giving us some good feedback. And, you know, as, as always, this episode, I mean, this podcast is, is for our owner operators and their families and to keep them informed of what's going on at Oakley Trucking, uh, anything's changing, new stuff, safety stuff, dispatch, uh, freight. I mean, anything we can come up with um, to help keep you guys informed and more in touch with Oakley Trucking. So uh, this this is a new one. Got a new episode here, and uh, this is something that uh, actually was some of the people we use uh, to help with our uh, – our podcast uh they came up with some ideas and i was going through them and i and i saw this one that was um, the top five things that make oakley trucking unique from its competition and i thought well that's pretty interesting and as i'm as i'm writing down my stuff you know i get to about 12 and i'm like well how you know how am i going to do this just late you know keep it to five but uh, so what I did is I sent an email out to um, all the uh, dispatch, recruiting, safety uh, in the office, and I got some really good feedback from all of them, uh, which we'll get to get to that in just a little bit. Um, but also, Miss um, Annabelle put it out on on social media, and we got some good feedback from our owner operators, which is really interesting too. And you know, the probably one of the the best things that, that I noticed about that is you've got you've got the employees in the office saying the same thing that the owner operators are saying, you know, or the top things about the company, which I thought was really interesting. So we're going to do – I have actually narrowed it down to five. Now, I know there's a lot more um, that we can go into, but I kind of combined a lot of the stuff that everybody said into five – and we're just going to, not in any particular order, just five things that we know are important here. And um, Mr. Scotty Crisco is going to sit in with me and help me discuss some of these and get, give a uh, you know another perspective of some of these things that we're going to talk about. So uh, going to be good. So hang with us, Scotty. You doing all right today, man? man? Yeah, I'm doing great. Glad to be here. Uh, Glad to have you. Can't wait to dive into this stuff. This is yeah this is uh this stuff kind of gets me excited yeah it does me too you know it, when you start talking about when you get feedback from people and they start telling you the things that are important to them it, it's always it, it, there's always a shocker in there oh, yeah you know that goes why is that so important but man i had numerous people uh say it's the little things mm-hmm. that make a difference so let's just uh uh before we dive into them let me do a uh, Oakley update real quick, and it's sponsored by Aero Truck Sales. Aero Truck Sales has been in business for over 60 years and a longtime partner of Oakley Trucking and the Oakley Podcast. Trey Visor and Keith Wilson do a great job at putting you in the right truck to fit your needs and our needs here at Oakley. They carry all makes and models to choose from with on-site financing through transport funding. So whether you're a seasoned owner operator or a first-time buyer, be sure to contact Keith Wilson at Aero Truck Sales at 573-216-216. 6047 and tell them you heard it on the Oakley podcast. So on the Oakley update, uh, if you we sent you out an email and this is regarding the company party on October the 21st, um, but it's regarding the hotel reservations. So we put a link in that email. That email came from Corey, um, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. We're going to send you out another one, but there's a link to the hotels to make your rev- reservations. We've blocked off rooms at the Holiday Inn and at the Wyndham. Be sure and go to that link and go ahead and book whatever rooms you want. Uh, they are your responsibility this year. That's something that's changed. Uh, is it, It's just gotten a challenge to <laughs> keep up with uh, the last few years. So, so all the hotels are on your own, but we do have them blocked off, make it s- super simple. You just get on there, reserve your room, and you'll be ready for the company party. So don't forget about that. We're looking forward to it coming up. October 21st, I think Corey said we already got 20-something trucks in the truck show. So, going to be exciting. All right, let's, uh, me and Scotty are going to talk about some of this stuff and uh, uh, top five things that uh, are important to owner-operators and employees here at Oakley Trucking. Let's crank off there. Scotty, give us a number one there. No, Not in any particular order. Now, I just wrote these out. Well, I mean, uh, 
I think number one should be number one, rightly so. I mean, that sets us apart. You, you know, you're going to get as an, and an owner, owner operator here at Oakley, you're going to get paid uh, whether you've got a load in your trailer or not. So uh, that that makes it a little unique, and I think that really kind of sets us apart from a customer service standpoint. I always look at these companies, and I kind of just it blows my mind. You know, when we get drivers, new hires that come over, and you know, say they worked for you know Landstar or any other company that doesn't pay empty miles, I always wondered, or they, companies that you know drivers pick their loads off a load board, or mm -hmm. I just wondered how they're, and obviously. You know, they have it figured out in some sort of way, but my standard of customer service just, I, I can't imagine how it could be met by that. So, <clears throat> us paying drivers all their miles empty or loaded, I mean, if a customer calls in and we've committed to a load, we will do some crazy things from time to time to get that load covered. Yeah. Owner operators have can attest to that. I mean, we don't like to do it, but if we need to deadhead a truck five, six hundred miles to get a load covered and take care of a customer, then we're going to do it. And I think it's, I mean, that, that goes without saying. I think once you dig down to most um, owner operators and us in here, I mean, the pay is important. That's the foundation. You've got to have the pay. Or you're not going to attract anybody. You're not going to keep anybody if you're if they're not making money. Sure. I mean, it's it's a. Uh, it's something that I know from the recruiting standpoint. Pay per mile. What you're saying is 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 definitely a, unusual in, in the trucking industry, and I think uh, that definitely plays a part. But the way you guys are committed to making sure these owner operators get a check every week, mm -hmm. so it's a steady income every week, and that's what mileage pay does for you. To me, it does, and uh, it it. Uh, it really creates a, a a company full of owner operators that want to stay with you because they get used to that steady income, and I mean it's real nice to be able to count on that check every week. Absolutely, uh, stability. You know, most human beings, you know, that's kind of the way we're geared. Even children, they love standards and rules and structure. I mean, as you get older, those standards and rules and structures kind of just give you a sense of comfort and I mean a steady paycheck I mean who doesn't love that I mean I don't I don't come in here for free yeah. neither do you <laughs> but I mean uh you know I, I can see like you know uh from time to time you hear about oh so and so got a load of military equipment going to mm -hmm. you know Spokane Washington he got to keep you know nine thousand dollars of it okay well what do he do when he get up there yeah you know what I mean? When did he get home? So yeah, the the pay per mile is unique. Well, it's always been the 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 in theory, and it, because it started out that way was uh, percentage pay. Mm -hmm. You know, when everybody started, well, that's the only way to go is percentage pay. I want a percentage of the haul, and not thinking that you know mileage pay may be a little bit better, mm -hmm. and it saves you. I, I was telling. I've told this before, but it's almost like um, uh, mileage pay is like um, you know if you're on a if you're on a graph it with Oakley and you're getting mileage pay, it's just like a real steady slight incline because mm -hmm. we've given out raises, you know, and all this, and we're gonna our guys ever since I've been here has made more money every week, you know, all the time. Well, if you your percentage guys, I mean, you see them all the time. They go chasing all this high dollar freight, and it's up like this, and then it bottoms out like this, and then it's up like this, and then bottom out, and mm -hmm. we're just a steady, slight incline. It just keeps going, and it just it. I think it resonates with people that know they're in it for the long haul. I think it's easier to run your household too. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. I, I'm I myself am not a good enough with money or. Uh, budget wise to handle the ups and downs of, and the peaks and valleys of what you know some guys go through but i mean you know it just goes back to like what you said stability and and comfort and knowing you know dependability knowing that yep. it's there you know knowing, knowing that the work's there and that we're going to do what it takes to uh make sure you you make that money so what we pay we uh we kind of numbered that one as number one um the pay around here number two family owned and operated well, there's a lot that can go on with that. We could that could be in its whole episode uh, by yeah, itself. It sure can. 
you want to start with that? I don't dispatch anymore. One thing I miss about the most of it, you know, and from a, in a certain sense, uh, I still have a hand in it, but like when I was dispatching, I thoroughly enjoyed the responsibility and the pressure that comes along with making a, a grown, another grown man or a grown woman a living, you know, they're dependent on me to, uh, have them a good plan, a good safe plan, uh, so that they can make ends meet at home and not just make ends meet, but, you know, acquire certain goals. And, uh, you know, I, lo- I love a good success story and we have many of them here, but yes. so from a family standpoint, like, yes, I enjoy the responsibility of being able to provide for an owner operator, but I also understand that they provide for me too you know and like you know i go home talk to taylor and the kids taylor's my wife by the way but you know and we go out on the road on a trip or something they see big trucks driving down the road and i'm like that's that's why we're getting to go on this trip because (laughs) you know that grown man's out there working it creates that family atmosphere sure you know the the i think one of the unique things about it being family owned and operated i mean we're in our third generation Mm -hmm. not a lot of companies make it to the third generation successfully true you know we're in a privately owned company in the third bruce oakley dennis oakley and now justin uh taking the reins and it is it is something that um, is not done every day and you know it's great to have that family atmosphere in this office but of course with our owner operators too and I, we talk about that all the time we've talked about that for years and there's some companies that say that and can't do it and i tell you we th- this place is uh will make you a believer because we do things that include the family i mean we've got well we have the company party which i talked about on the update where all the families you know the, the owner operators and employees all get together Mm-hmm. You know, and we we uh, we eat and we talk and we drink and we dance and we give away awards and I mean recognitions from for every for not only employees but owner operators. It's a family it. reunion. It really. is. It really is. I mean, you get to see a lot of people. I get to see a lot of people's wives that I haven't seen in a long time or their spouses. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it's just you know I think we take it to the next level when when we talk about that and i know on your side that one-on-one dispatch creates that family atmosphere too yeah the relationships that i've forged through through dispatch uh you know they're just they're just special and irreplaceable i mean uh the the not a truck number deal you know that kind of has become cliche through over the years but you know you look at some at the size of some of these companies uh, that maybe not our direct competitors as far as freight goes, but they're all direct competitors as far as uh, the driver behind the wheel mm-hmm. goes. And, you know, I just feel like, now I'm not saying we're, we're, we don't want to grow, but we're just in such a good niche that, like, growth here is like the family just gets bigger. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we've created I mean, over the years so many friends you know, that you, you know as owner-operators and you know what they do and you know, I mean, just like the, the other day, I mean, we're we're trying to get a hold of Orville Carpenter, a guy that used to be here, so retired, hadn't been able to get a hold of him lately, and finally we do, you know, and he's he's struggling with some health issues and, and we send him some stuff to his house, you know, because he didn't even work here anymore. Mm-hmm. But we know we created that friendship for all those years, you know. I mean, we, everybody knew popcorn. Absolutely. Uh, but it's in the... And I can't tell you, um, man, I can't tell you over the years how many funerals I've been to. Yeah. Um, you know, of, of past owner-operators or spouses that have passed away, and we, we show up and, and go to that. And I, I have, uh, you know, sometimes, a little confession here, sometimes I didn't want to go, you know. Sure. But uh, I've never been to one that i wished i hadn't gone to absolutely every one of them i'm so so i'm so glad i went to those because you know they appreciate that kind of stuff so much and we just creates a more of that family bond that we do so yeah and i think it's interesting you, you know just the the family tree if you were like i really like sometime i'm gonna sit down and just draw a couple of them by family tree i mean by an owner owner operator hires on things go well for him the first x number of months he tells his friends about it he tells his son about it who owns a truck he they you know they come on 
things go well for them for a few months or a year. They start telling their friends about it. People, they're telling people that they care about that, hey, you know what I mean? Come over here and go to work here. You know, if you, if, if you get a hold of something good as human beings, we're not like, I'm not going to share that secret with just anybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so there, you know, that builds a good foundation of good people, good workers, uh, because they're not, they're not going to bring just anybody in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Creates a trust. Sure. Oakley Trucking is a 100% owner-operator company. We specialize in hopper bottom, end dump, and pneumatic trailers. We provide the trailer free of charge, and you provide the truck. We have a large customer base that reaches the whole United States as well as parts of Canada. Our owner-operators live anywhere from Texas to North Carolina to Pennsylvania to Wisconsin and everywhere in between, and we get them home weekends. We take it seriously when you join Oakley Trucking because we need you to be successful. Oakley offers great benefits and competitive mileage pay, so you know that when your wheels are turning, you're generating money no matter if you're loaded or empty. We understand that you want to make a good living and that you make our living. We only take on independent contractors, and to be honest with you, we are very particular on who we lease on. You must have a good driving record, good work history, and clean, dependable truck. So if you're interested in Oakley Trucking or just want some more information, you can go to oakleytrucking.com, listen to our weekly podcast, The Oakley Podcast, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Number three, customer service. Now, this is right up your wheelhouse, but uh, I, I tell every ori- orientation that comes through here I talk to, and and I tell every one of them customer service is uh, customer service and safety you got to buy into here. If you want to work here and you want to be happy and you want to make the most money, you got to buy into customer service, and that's not always easy to do, but we have that has been stamped in our brain since day one at Oakley, and and how do we take it to the next level of customer service? Well, I think it all just, <clears throat> it all hinges on communication. Uh, number one, don't bite off more than you can chew. You know, uh, I think you can get, that's a slippery slope. Yeah. Uh, customer calls in with a bunch of loads and a bunch of those loads are going to be great lanes for your drivers, but you've already got other commitments that you've made. So we have a saying back there in dispatch called look before you book. <laughs> so you need to, and it's real simple it's just like you need to look in the computer and look in the, at our board and see uh, what we still have to cover you know maybe not just tomorrow but maybe what's coming up for the next two or three weeks uh, before you step off and commit to something that we can't do um, now the longer I've worked here the the better I've gotten at uh, understanding that if you're just honest with the customer up front and let them know uh what you you know under promise and over deliver Mm -hmm. is a is a term nick Dulaney always uses and that tends to get you more repeat business than over promising and under delivering very much so customer service is is uh when you when you find good customer service you want to brag about it you want to tell everybody about it you want to Send it to everybody you know because, hey, man, look at the service I got at this place. This place is awesome. Sure. And that's what you want to be known for. And I think we are. That's a niche we have. Of course, the dry bulk business is a niche, you know, in the trucking world, uh, the big picture of the trucking world. And, and we are at the top of the uh, top of the list when it comes to bulk, you know, dry bulk that we do. Uh, and it, it's, it's able, it's created, we've created that uh, – image over all these years of providing good customer service and it's not always easy to do no. for sure now this but, is the big leagues i like to every day yeah. i come to work i feel like i kind of got a little pep in my step yeah. maybe not cocky or whatever but I, it's good to, it just feels good to know that you're you're part of a team that is looked at in the industry as uh somebody that you know they're kind of the best of the best and you know yep. we may not be the cheapest but if you want it done, then they know who to call. So. Which it rolls right in t- over to number four, being very particular in who we bring to Oakley. This is something that, uh, and I'm not talking about just owner-operators. I'm talking about employees in here uh, that we go through a process of, of looking for the right person and explaining to them what they're getting into, you know, <laughs> for sure. But I can talk a little bit about both of those. When it comes to the independent contractor, you know, we're talking 
number three was customer service. Well, you don't get good customer service if you don't bring the right people on and representing you well because we can sit in here in this office all day long and on the phones and we can brag about stuff and, hey, we'll get it done and here's our price, but we're not the ones going to be rolling up in their door. These guys right here that we are leasing on that has been with us for all these years, these 880 owner-operators are the ones that get it done. They're the ones that roll through the door and pick up the load, deliver the load, and do it correctly as we promised. That's what, you know, and when it comes to picking the right people for that, um, man, it is, a, uh, it is a challenge finding the people, I mean, that we want. I mean, you just take um, – you know, clean cut appearance policy wipes out a lot of people. Sure. And but it's very important to us because it's not just, you know, clean cut, but it's the it's you know, your your attitudes, your language, your appearance, your uh was a truck look, what's a trailer look like, everything. It's a whole picture that uh has gotta be good that provides a good reputation for this company. And finding those people is is definitely a challenge you know not only just the the simple part of finding an independent contractor but having a good driving record good work history things that we really go in depth in the recruiting department to make sure this is you know we're getting the right person to represent us well it is something that i mean i take it to heart every every application i look at you know uh, I'm, i'm always quizzing and the recruiter and and is this what we want is this really what we want this kind of stuff let's talk to him can you get them by here i mean anything we can because it's just critical that we have the right the people the people here is what makes this company i kind of on this particular topic during your um intro to the show uh you mentioned that uh that we had put the same question out on social media that we did to our employees and that you were getting a lot of the same answers back from mm-hmm owner operators as you were people inside the office and i mean if that doesn't tell you that we're not bringing in the right people then we, right. that doesn't tell you that we're not all on the same page then what does yep. so um yeah i kind of look at what you guys do in recruiting is kind of like uh i used to watch this show on the history channel where they get out there in the river and they're looking for gold and they get all this dirt and mud and yeah. rocks in their pan and they sift and they sift and they sift and they sift and then they take it to it. You know, they just get it right down to where they find what they want. And that's kind of what you guys do every day, you know, um, bringing in the, the, you know, like I said earlier, this is the big leagues. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, this is not, and we do it with employees too. Sure. I mean, Oh my gosh, I can't tell you, I mean, you've been in probably more interviews than I have uh, um, with these, you know, trying to hire a dispatcher. Yeah. Um, trying to hire Annabelle. You mm-hmm. know, we interviewed a bunch of people till you find the right fit that fits it. And it's because it's important to us. Exactly. You know, to get in here in this office and, and you're part of this team. We we need somebody committed. Yeah. And what you, I mean, you're putting your stamp on them. And, mm-hmm. uh, but, you know. I mean, it's a machine, uh, and, and you you just keep oiling it, and you keep putting the right parts <laughs> in right. it, and I mean, it's 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 gonna keep running. Annabelle's she's glad to hear she's a part now. <laughs> 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 oh man! So uh, that's four. So uh, what we pay number one, family owned and operated number two, customer service number three, being particular in who we bring to Oakley number four. And number five is we want our independent contractors to be successful. This was something that you just mentioned I talked about earlier in the beginning. You wouldn't believe the, the comments I get from dispatchers w- saying that. We, I want our owner-operators to be successful. You know, this is what it's all about. That's why they're here. And it is, um, it is very rewarding I know you mentioned earlier about when you're dispatching somebody and you see them making money and bettering themselves. It's the same thing in, in the recruiting. We, um, you know, we do a lot of company drivers to owner operators, and man, we we uh, we help steer that guy to buying a truck. You know, getting a good truck. Here's the kind of truck you need for the job, um, and then they. You know, they buy it, then they come over here and they're real nervous and, and getting started and don't know what to expect, never done dry bulk. And then you, you get them with you guys back there in dispatch and, 
man, the next thing you know, he's popping up on your list. This is his first year anniversary. You're like, yeah, man. You know, or he comes back in here and he tells you, I wish I'd have found you guys 20 years ago. Yeah. How many times you heard that? I tell you, it's just when you put it, spell it out like that, it's, <clears throat> that takes a real leap of faith to go from, a, say, a, a guy that's a company driver to go out, uh, find the means to put together the money and, or be able to borrow the money to get into a rig like that. Go haul freight that you've never hauled. I mean, <laughs> with a shovel and a broom sometimes, you yeah. know, in the end dump world. I mean, this is real work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, I know it. I, it's got to be kind of – it takes a special breed to even want to pull that trigger. Um, yeah. But it's so fun, you know, when like, – like you said, they've been here a year and you sign that bonus check and then, you know, you become – friends with them on social media or whatnot and you see that they bought a motorcycle or a boat or or, or, you know whatever hey they're taking vacation i'm gonna be on vacation we're going to uh turks and caicos or whatever it is you know like all right that guy you know that guy got it going on i probably see more than anything i probably see i see them upgrading trucks Mm -hmm. that's a big big goal for a lot of owner operators is a lot of them get that starter truck you know to get in here and get to go on but then they realize what they can do, you know, and they're like, oh, we're, we're fixing to step it up a notch. And then you see a lot of them ordering those new trucks, buying new trucks right and left. I mean, it's every week. Mm-hmm. We've got somebody in here with a new truck um, that have already been here. You know, they're, they're, they're making that step up. Uh, and it's just, it's, it's rewarding to watch, you know, and talk to them. And, and we've had some of them on the podcast, you know, and talk about their success. But it's just, it feels good to know that we've played a part in that. Yeah. And it's a vicious cycle. It's a vicious, successful cycle that Oakley has created because what you just mentioned, those guys are going out, getting new trucks, getting better looking trucks, getting, and then they're behind good looking equipment. You know, they're keeping, if they, if the, you know, a guy's going to go out and spend that much money on a truck, he's going to keep it clean. He's not going to pull a dirty trailer. And then we've got good looking advertisement going down the road. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's just, you know, I get pumped up about it. It's and that was stuff. some of the, that was some of the, uh, honorable mentions i would say is is you know home time getting them home uh for specific issues that they may have whether it's a doctor appointment a sick spouse a a kid's birthday that was a a real important free trailer usage uh you know that's that's unheard of in the trucking world is is offering them you can pull our trailer for free uh, no weekly rental or anything and it's not junk equipment it is you know good equipment that they do um and then the annual bonus i mean is that's unheard of i mean it's it's fantastic what to what these guys are making on their bonus check every year and give them something to look forward to oh i know i see them it's good stuff yeah yeah i had uh i was gonna read a couple of these that uh i got back from the employees uh real quick because i'd sent that out there of what they thought you know, I sent the question out there. What do you think are the top five things that makes Oakley unique from any other trucking company? And uh, Bradley sent me back what we pay and level of commitment we show to the owner-operator and their families, the level of commitment we require from the owner-operator, dress code, clean-cut appearance. Um, we always find a way to get things done, even when it seems impossible. And this one I liked. He said, you can walk up to the owner of the company or people that have been here forever and talk to them like they're in your own living room. Uh, let's see, I had um, Corey sent that we aren't looking for anybody, only the best. Um, and I think our owner operators take pride in knowing that they are part of an elite group. Uh, personal touch with drivers and spouses and pay. He said, not many companies pay mileage and specifically all miles. Uh, Dustin Eagle said the the personal touch, uh, you know, the the going to funerals, that kind of stuff that we do, and the company party. Um, JP, I, you, I, I, I hate to interrupt you, but no, I, I'm, I, I'm I, I wish to... I would have wrote our, one thing that I really think sets us apart. I always like hearing you talk about it is our turnover rate. Compared to the industry, yeah, yeah. Well, that, I mean, <laughs> that that uh, speaks for itself. I mean, that's you guys. You do what we promise. <laughs> I mean, because we do the same thing that uh, that you said 
Nick does back there. He talks about uh, under under deliver. I mean, yeah. over deliver. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, that's that's the that's what we talk about all the time yeah. up there in recruiting. Is we don't want them to expect too much when they come in here. We want to undersell it and over deliver it mm-hmm. with everybody. So it's. Um, I don't know. It's uh, you know, it's something that uh, you can tell. I mean, with the the turnover rate being as low as it is, I mean, a lot. I think it's a combination of all that up front, and, and the recruiting department does. But then, dispatch and safety and everything delivers it all back there in the back, and that just makes that that whole process that works with all these top five things that we're talking about. You connect all those together. That's, that's that's your low turnover rate, and people's been here thirty. I just uh, signed a uh, anniversary bonus for Jimmy Murphy for thirty eight years. Yeah. Thank goodness he's <laughs> <around> local. <laughs> we yeah, can, we couldn't afford to have him out over the road. Oh yeah, we can't pay. <laughs> we, I know it, so it's fantastic, man. Uh, yeah, you know, man, it's it just boils down to just don't don't tell people that you can do something that you can't. Or if you do, if you do happen to make that mistake, and we would have, pick the phone up and tell them that you made a mistake. And, and that, you know, back to the customer service deal, you wouldn't believe, like, you know, my gut my heart kind of sinks, and i got to call a customer and tell them, you know. And a lot of times they're just like, thank you so much for yeah. calling and telling me. You know, like it just meant so much. Like, not that it was really okay, but, like, my gosh, you know. It's being better than finding out later. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's the same. Well, hold no, that, that's the same with anybody doing anything wrong. If Annabelle's doing something wrong every day, every week, and I don't tell her, she's gonna be mad that I didn't tell her. Yeah, you know, and and I don't blame her. Just tell me what I'm doing wrong. Right. You know, I hate that I'm doing something. Because wrong. Because at that point, you're kind of doing something wrong by yeah, not telling her. Right. You know? Right. So. And we. You know, we do that as dispatchers uh, with the dispatcher and driver relationship. We do that a lot. You know, I tell I tell all the drivers, look, if something's not suiting you, you've got to tell somebody. Yeah. Just like dispatch, if if that that caller ID name pops up and they don't want to answer that phone, then they need to be bringing that guy in here and talking to you. Yeah. So you know, we we have those, but not to get off the subject. It's great. Uh, you know, I think it's a great discussion, Scotty. I appreciate you sitting in here with me. I appreciate you asking me. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know you did a, you know, you do a good job with this stuff, and you've done it in a, several times in the past, and it helps me out a lot too to bounce stuff off of, of each other. Um, I thought about, you know, you don't have to put this in the podcast if you don't want to, but I do. I thought it was so interesting the other day. I happened, to, you and I happened to wander into the break room at the same time and get coffee. And, you know, you sh- we were talking about a particular owner-operator may or may not quit or whatever. And it was so interesting to hear your side of, you know, of of what was going on. I'm not going to get into the details. But, you know, you get so locked into your little uh, area of the machine, you know, and I'm back there booking loads and trying to, you know, cut brokers' throats and make sure drivers have plenty of miles, <laughs> right. and you know, it's just go, 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 go. And you're up there on the, you know, on the on the other end of it. But I was just saying that's it's interesting how everything's moving together. But it is, you know, we're we're taking care of our own separate responsibilities so efficiently yep. uh, that it's just nice to do stuff like this right here every once in a while. You know, kind of yep. opens your eyes up. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Well, hey, I appreciate everybody listening to the Oakley podcast for sure. And, uh, uh, you know, a little, di- little bit different discussion this time to, to talk about some of the things that we do here at Oakley. Uh, uh, I think a lot of people already know this, but we thought we'd bring it to light. And, and uh, for some of you guys out there that are listening, uh, I mean, we're, we're – um, we're on a great track here. We're up to over 17,000 subscribers on YouTube, and who whoever thought we'd be doing that. Uh, but it, it's just great to be able to do this and bring good stuff to you every week. Be sure and tell us, you know, if you got something on your mind you want us to talk about, or uh, I'll do my best to research it and get it out here to you. We try to keep it pretty simple um, around, this, around this company for sure. So once again, appreciate everybody listening to us. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks. Thanks.